Okay, here we go. We're going to take a look at this particular equation right here, work out the graph for it as to a way to check your answers from the previous problem. All right, first thing I'm going to do is start with the center, which is at negative 2, positive 3. So let's see, negative 2, uh, I'll go with this way, negative 2, that'll be negative 4, negative 6, All right, so negative 2 comma 3, that'll be my center point. Uh, the number underneath here is, um, I don't know, who cares, that's 3 squared. That means that I'm going to go, uh, it tells me that I'm going to go 3, 3 units in the x direction. All right, you know what? I'm going to move this all down. Not enough space. There we go. All right, so three units in the x direction. So I count out three units this direction, which would be put that right here. Three units this other direction, which would put that right here. Okay, so those points would be at 1, 3 and negative uh, 5, 3. Then I'm going to deal with up here, which is this blue number. That is 5 squared, so that tells me 5 units in the y direction, the vertical direction, because it's underneath the y. So I'm going to count up 5 units here from 3, which will put me up at 8, I believe. Yep, so that point will be at 1, 8, and then 5 units down. See, I was at 3, so that's going to put me down here at negative 2. So that'll be 1, comma, negative 2. And so this is my major axis right here. So technically, that's the A value. I don't really care what I call these things, whether they're A and B. It doesn't make me any difference. It's what letter they're under that's important. So B is 3, A is 5, and my ellipse is going to be this beautiful shape going right through these points that of course smears out those other lines. The thing that I'm still missing is the focus points. So I'm going to do that in green. The thing that I know about focus points or foci as the plural would be is that the uh, the a squared has to be equal to b squared plus c squared because a is bigger than either b or c. So in terms of the Pythagorean theorem it would have to be the hypotenuse. So 5 squared would have to be equal to 3 squared plus c squared. And do a little bit of the math, and presto changeo, mathematically, I get c is equal to 4. So that means that the focus points are going to lie on this line. So it's going to have to be 4 units away in either direction. And I'm going to save space. I'm going to draw from here. I've got f1, which is going to be 1, 3. 3, that was, no, I lied. The center was at negative 2, comma, 3. And because it's in the y direction that these focus points are going, i got to add 5. So this point would be negative 2, comma, 8. And this point at F2 would be negative 2, comma, 3, minus 5, or negative 2, comma, negative 2. And... Hampton made a mistake about plus 4, which was the C value, which would be 7, and minus 4, which would be negative 1. That makes better sense. Okay, so my major axis is, uh, how long is my major axis? 10 units, top to bottom. My minor axis is, let's see, it was three units in the x direction, so it's going to be six units. And I've got my focus points listed right there, my center. I'm golden. I'm going to stop here.